everyone, it's Rhonda here from Flowers More by Rhonda. Thanks again for joining us for the sixth annual Christmas on a Dime YouTube Hop. We're so glad that you could join us. And um, I just want to share a couple of projects with you that I have done just using stuff out of my craft room that I found. Uh, I really didn't know what I wanted to do. I had some ideas. But then when it came to actually sitting down to do them, I was like totally brain dead. Uh, so I just started pulling from here and pulling from there and uh, got a few ideas from Pinterest. And I thought, you know, just to kind of help inspire me a little bit. So I look over and I have a jar full of these little pom-poms. And I thought, okay, all right, well, let's just go from there. And uh, then I found a little bag of buttons. I have red pom-poms, too, that I was originally going to use in place of little buttons. And I thought, heck no, let's use the buttons. Uh, some kind of different little texture. And as I'm creating this, I uh, found a little piece of twine just laying on my craft table. And I look over in a box, and there's this little poinsettia peeking out at me. So what I did to start off for myself was uh, just using uh, some chipboard just from a box is all I used. Uh, I cut myself because I wasn't too sure. This is two and a half, and this is what it looked like once I got done. And I have a silhouette cameo, so um, that's the diamond cutting machine I use. But then this one is three inches, which I thought ended up being a really great size. I think this would make a cute little ornament. You could put it on a package even. Uh, but once I got to creating and designing with it, I realized, I thought, you know, I should have finished the back side up with either a solid card stock or Christmas card stock and then I thought well if you did a solid then if you because I love doing kids crafts with kids um, you know they could create this for their teacher or even for a friend or a neighbor uh, that way they could sign the back of it uh, but here's what it looks like a little closer for you guys uh, you could do a ribbon I even thought about doing white pom-poms and then maybe creating something to kind of like emulate a um, snowman hat. You know, you could do uh, like what I call the Grinch green, like this. And then maybe put like a red blingy heart on it. How cute would that be? Right? Now I'm going to have to get me that color. I just thought of that. <laughs> So that's a fun little project to do with the kids. And if you do not have a die cutting machine, of course, just get you a um, couple different size lids. Create your circles. Um, you can kind of do an X here in the center or an asterisk. And that way you could get this cut out. You could, if you have just the one inch punch, you could do that and then take a lid. And then just a regular little hole punch up here. Uh, several different ways that you could create a circle. No rhyme or reason, right? No rhyme or reason at all. Uh, again, I just use a use cereal box, you know, macaroni cheese box, whatever. Oops. Uh, that was one little project. And I've always wanted to do a cork ornament. So I'm sitting there and I'm looking at this whole bucket of corks that where we volunteered, I was fortunate enough to get uh, someone to save the corks for me. Because they were just going to go in the trash. And of course, these aren't like your regular uh, corks. But, uh, hey, it worked, right? So, I found this little piece of scrap, as I call it, a Grinch green. That's just what I call it because of the color. It makes me think of the Grinch. Um, which, by the way, is one of my all-time holiday favorites. Um, I just bunched it up together. I thought it makes like it looks like a little tutu. I happened to find some twine that I had uh, in my stash that has the red, green, and white. And I have this big old jar with all kinds of little stuff in it. Just random. Found that. And I thought, you know, a lot of people do them with chains. And I thought, I'm just going to use that because not everybody has that. And I have it. But this was just handier, and I went with it. And then I created one for up here. This was a piece that I had done, gosh, who knows when. And um, 
I had it on a pine cone. Well, the poor pine, pine cone got a little, it had an accident. So I kept this piece and thought, well, I can always use that for something else. And then there it was. And I just attached it. And I put this on just to kind of finish up the back. Now you could paint these. I even thought about back to that idea. You could paint this like a uh, white and then maybe I was even looking for a red heart to set up here you know to kind of stay with that theme but the possibilities are endless of course and you know again uh, Pinterest helps give me and inspire me uh, with projects to you know kind of make it my own in a way and but again stuff just sitting in my craft room so that's what I've created there and then a girlfriend of mine was telling me that her and her friends do ornament swaps every year and of course she had purchased an ornament but she had also purchased a real cute little bag to put the ornament in and I thought well, why not create your own bag because I have so many of these little brown paper lunch bags because I've done other crafts with these before because I think they're just really you know they're inexpensive great to have and I have uh, like four stacks of them um, and all I did was, I love rustic, especially at Christmas time. And the only thing purchased here was these tags for a dollar at the Dollar General, I believe it was. And I just took this out, took off the ribbon. And as I was sitting here getting ready to do the video, I thought, you know, another thing you could do is take my favorite, the Vintage Photo Distressing Ink by Tim Holtz and just distress the edges which I'm going to go back and do because uh, like I said it just kind of hit me and then distress the edges of the bag this again were just scraps I threw them together I kept the bag closed for viewing purposes uh, I just had a piece of old burlap slapped it on there I had this fun little burlap uh, button uh, that I had in my stash this is just a piece of trim underneath. It is just the little rosettes and they're all placed around to look like a flower and I just lay that on there to kind of just give it a little something else in behind the button. Piece of scrap because I love red gingham check ribbon. Oh my gosh. Uh, put that on there. Punch me a couple hoes. Simple little gift bag. And then here's two little ornaments that I could give as gifts to a friend. If I were doing an ornament gift swap. So that's a fun little idea. Uh, really glad my friend mentioned it because I thought, you know, that'd be great. Make your gift, including the bag. Why not? So again, these are still fun little projects you could do with the kids while they're on their holiday break as well. All right, now, I want to thank you all again so much for joining us again for the Christmas on a Dime YouTube Hop, hosted by the lovely Dee Armstead from Elegant Embellishments, and to our sweet, very talented Tammy Sims, who is uh, hosting it this year. Um, please check out all the other designers. They are listed in the description below. Also, be sure to subscribe to everyone's channel and leave a comment. There are some wonderful, awesome, talented crafters, and I believe a few of them are giving away some goodies. So be sure to check everyone's out. In the meantime, I hope everyone has a wonderful day, a very happy Thanksgiving, and an awesome holiday. Thanks, and see you again real soon, I hope. And if not, you should be sure to join us next year for our Christmas on a Dime YouTube Hop.